Well, there are still a lot of questions tonight surrounding the disappearance of Gabby Petito. Police are urging her fiance to come forward and share details he might know about her disappearance. Jody Goldberg brings us tonight's update from Blue Point, Long Island, where Gabby grew up. I beg his mother to make him speak or at least for the parents to say something. But Brian Laundry, fiance of 22 year old missing woman Gabby Petito and his parents haven't said a word on the advice of counsel. The two were on a cross country road trip when Petito disappeared late last month. According to attorney Hunter Skolnick, they have a right to remain silent. This can go on as long as he wants, unfortunately. He can stay quiet. He could make like this never happened. Legal analysts call it a strategy. According to experts, the laundries are avoiding incrimination and can only be questioned if and when laundry, who police are calling a person of interest in the case, is brought in as a suspect. Is there a crime? I mean, we suspect there is. We know she's missing but there's nothing for them to arrest him on yet. Authorities in Utah are also looking into whether there's a connection between Petito's disappearance and the double murder of newlyweds, Crystal Turner and Kylan Schulte. Schulte worked at the same grocery store where Petito and Laundry got into an argument just days before she vanished. Body camera footage shows when police responded to a 911 call, but only offers a glimpse into the state of their relationship. Everyone's sitting here trying to trying to bring Gabby home, and the only one who doesn't care is the one who's supposed to care about her the most. According to a timeline posted on the Find Gabby Facebook page, she was last seen on August 24th in Salt Lake City, Utah. She spoke to her mom the next day over FaceTime. On August 30th, her mom received a text from Petito's phone, quote, no service in Yosemite, but doesn't believe it was her daughter who sent it. And on September 1st, Laundry returned to their home in Northport, Florida, alone with the van. They never went to Yosemite. They never had plans to go to Yosemite. So it's obvious. The only person speaking in the laundry family is Brian's sister, Cassie, who told ABC News Gabby is like a sister to her and she hopes for a safe and sound return. A prayer vigil for Gabby will be held tonight in Northport, Florida. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.